Happy New Year, my Canaanites, and welcome to 2014. Before we begin, I just need to make a quick apology. It's been a while since my last video released, and I am truly sorry for that. The simple truth is that I've been having trouble with my video editing and rendering software, which has prevented me from updating. Anyway, I'm back now, so let's get to it. Today we are going to discuss Halo Escalation Issue 2, and boy, what an issue. I've said before that this series looks like it's going to be the Halo comic we've been waiting for, and Issue 2 does not disappoint. Picking up with our heroes running from an unknown Covenant faction, they decide to head to some local fortifications left over from the Human Covenant War. Captain Lasky and the newly introduced Spartan Ray, however, head elsewhere to try and re-establish communications. Not far away, we are introduced to the commander of this rogue Covenant faction, Shipmaster Gajat, who wears a very interesting combat harness. He is joined by an unknown human, though who this is is anyone's guess. Some have speculated he may be Admiral Drake, the traitor introduced at the end of Halo Initiation, something I would personally love to be true. Sadly, this human makes no further appearances in the issue. Maybe next time. Palmer and company continue to make their way to the readout, only to be cut off by a lich. Palmer takes out the lich by filling her helmet with grenades and saying they love the grav lift. Gotta give credit where credit is due. This was a pretty awesome move on Palmer's part. Even if it did leave her helmetless. Meanwhile, Lasky and Spartan Ray find their way to the Plasma Refinery's administration office, hoping to find a way to communicate with the Infinity. Instead, they find that the facility is being used to block off-world communications. Luckily, it seems Ray might be able to find out who or what is doing the blocking. Back with the diplomats, Palmer and the Spartans finish taking out local Covenant forces. Spartan Scruggs and Team Jagknife are sent ahead to check the readout while the others check the bodies for clues. Admiral Hood finds a UNSC datapad with profiles on all the UNSC personnel on Aelin 4 and the location of the peace talks. As Palmer and her forces move towards the readout, Captain Lasky and Spartan Ray hijack a couple of banshees to make their way to whomever or whatever is blocking off-world communications. Now I have to stop here and point out something very interesting. Two different banshees. Since Halo Reach, the appearance of the new Banshee has been an issue of debate among fans. For the first time, we see a Halo CE slash 2 slash 3 era Banshee, and a Halo Anniversary slash Reach slash 4 era Banshee side by side. I thought this was a very nice touch by 343, and confirms that the two Banshees are indeed separate models, though the relation between the two is still unknown. Seeing the Reach style Banshee in Halo 4 makes me think that the Reach era Banshee is an older model, as much of the Halo 4 Covenant tech is older. T-44 Phantoms, for example, as opposed to T-52, seen in Halo 2 and Halo 3. It could be that the Halo Reach slash Halo 4 style Banshee is used by the Covenant Army, while the Halo 2 and 3 era Banshee is used by the Covenant Navy. This would seem to be supported by the existence of the Halo 2 slash 3 era Banshees in Halo Wars. But, honestly, who knows? Anyway, as the comic ends, Palmer and company finally make it to the redoubt with a welcoming message from Spartan Scruggs. However, it's revealed in the final panel that Scruggs has killed Jackknife and is, in fact, a traitor. Well, that's it for issue two. I loved reading it, and when I went to pick it up, I was surprised to find that my normal comic shop was sold out of issues. Normally, it takes a month or so for the first batch to sell out. Hopefully, this is merit of Halo Escalation's quality and popularity. I love the idea of a Spartan traitor, as it's been something that I've personally thought about since the reveal of the Spartan 4 program and how it recruits. Past Spartans were heavily indoctrinated, and while we've seen washouts like Sword 066 go insurrectionist, most Spartan 2s and 3s would never even think about it. The Spartan 4s are a different story, and I'm glad to see 343 going down this route. As always, I cannot wait for the next issue. In related news, issue 5 was announced this week, and while I normally don't talk about future issues, the description is highly worthy of note. The description is as follows. Missing for 30 years, a legendary UNSC warship is discovered deep behind enemy lines. As Infinity plans a rescue mission, however, Admiral Hood's past with the ship's captain threatens to jeopardize the mission. The first thing that should come to mind, and has for many, is the Spirit of Fire. It fits the bill of being missing for 30 years, though the mention of Hood and the ship's captain having a past is news to me, if we are indeed talking about the Spirit of Fire. It could also be that, if this is indeed the Spirit of Fire, Captain Cutter is dead and someone else who has a history with Hood is in command. Still, Issue 5 won't be out until the end of April, so all we can really do is speculate until then. Well, we have one week until the release of Halo Mortal Dictata, and several more before the next issue of Escalation. Hopefully I'll have some videos to fill in those gaps, but we'll see if my computer will allow it. This has been Halo Cannon, and I'll see you next time.